have you ever had anything bring you to the point that you wasn't sure if you could get out of this? Somehow, it's not the one thing, but it's everything. It's everything you went through all the years before. And to find out that the things are never going to stop coming at you, that finally brings you to the point that you say, you know what, I'm not sure I want to get up out of the bed in the morning if all I got to face is another fight. This is for those of you who are going through the fight. Those of you who are wondering, how can I keep going like this? Some of you have been through so much that you should have lost your mind. It's all right to fail as long as you fail forward. It's all right, but I need you to have heart because there's some things you just can't get without perseverance. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you because every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith will be tested. I know what it's like to barely hold, to barely feel like you're breathing, to barely feel like you can come up for air. Look up. Look up and recognize that there is a way out. There is a path for you to take. And it's not an easy path. It takes courage and it's hard. But what is the other choice? What else can we do? Let the darkness completely consume us, be overtaken by temptation and vice. No, do not accept that. You can triumph over these dark forces. You can become better. You can be better. You got more than you think. You can do more than you think. You can go further than you think. You can have more than you think. And stop blaming somebody else over what you don't have. It's time for you to know what you got in your hand. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. And so by being committed to everything that I started, I finished it. It built a certain type of spirit. It built a certain type of mentality. And so now I couldn't quit even if I wanted to. I couldn't stop even if I wanted to. I had too much sweat equity in my life and everything that I was doing. When it gets tough, I'm going to press my way. When I get tired, I'm going to press my way. When it's not convenient, I'm going to press my way. When my heart is broken, I'm going to press my way. When I'm rejected, I'm going to press my way. When I'm broke, I'm going to press my way. When I'm despaired, I'm going to press my way. You would just believe that your day coming, that the sacrifices you are making today, they're going to pay off. But if you do not believe, it ain't going to happen. So I need you to work on your faith. I need you to wake up every day and say, today ain't the day, but my day coming. And I will not give up until I get to that day. I will not stop. I will not give up. I will not give in until my day comes. This is another concept which has made its rounds in the world that something else should motivate you to do what you're doing. If what you are doing is significant enough, you don't need any other thing to motivate you. If what you are doing is truly significant to life, why do you need another motivation to make that happen? If you really understand and experience that what you are doing is truly important for every life around you, you don't need a motivation. Life just goes on. See, does your heartbeat need a motivation to keep it going? I'm asking you. All the life processes is not asking for any motivation, isn't it? Monsoon is coming. Any motivation? No, it's coming year after year. It's the natural process is going on. Simply like that. In you and me, life is on. What I'm telling you is, if you are doing something which is aligned with the fundamental life process of who you are, 
This can find a million expressions. It need not be just a spiritual teaching. It can find a million expressions that what you are doing is aligned with your fundamental life process. Then you will not need anything to motivate you. Simply as a part of life, it will just happen. How much you do simply depends on how much time you invested on upgrading yourself. The problem with the world right now is people are always trying to upgrade their activity. If you upgrade your activity without upgrading yourself, you are bound to break up somewhere. It's like you went on a Formula One track because you want to be on a fast track, and you went with your Maruti 800. Suppose you hit the right kind of speed. All the four wheels will go in four different directions won't hold up. If you want to be in that kind of speed and that kind of track, you must prepare the machine. Upgradation of this one is important. If you upgrade yourself, activity will simply happen. Many people around me, you know, many times think I'm superhuman because of the activity that I perform. This is not about being superhuman. If you explore the possibilities of being human, if you explore the possibilities of the immensity of being human, you will realize you don't have to be a superhuman. Being human itself is super, so you will not need any external drive or some other inspiration. The very process of life will do it. It turns out 95% of who we are by our midlife is a set of memorized uh, behaviors, unconscious habits, hardwired thoughts and attitudes, uh, uh, conditioned emotions that are so familiar to us that it doesn't even feel like uh, uh, fear or it doesn't feel like sadness, it's just who we are. It usually takes crisis or trauma or disease or diagnosis or the lowest point in your life where you knock to your knees and for that moment you actually have a view of yourself outside of yourself. You can see yourself uh, from a different state, the, the facade, the, 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 the whole illusion is over. And that's when a person really begins to think about what they've been thinking about. They begin to notice how they speak or how they act. And I think they begin to pay attention to those feelings uh, on, a, on a more uh, regular and conscious basis. And the word meditation, I looked this up because when I started my journey, I'm, I'm very scientifically minded. The word meditation, the symbol means to become familiar with. So, so then the first step to change, if you wanted to create a new life, you have to change. Uh, uh, it's change your personal reality, you have to change your personality. And the first step is consciousness or becoming aware. So the moment you become conscious of your unconscious thoughts, the moment you become aware of your automatic reflexive habits and and your emotional reactions. The moment you can become so conscious of those unconscious states of mind and body uh, that you don't go unconscious again. So familiar with those states. And how many times do we have to forget or go unconscious till we no longer forget or go unconscious and we stay conscious? That's, 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 sit, that's lighting a match in a dark place. And most people, when they do meditation, they, they actually think when those voices come up and when the chatter starts and those emotions start, they actually think that they're doing their meditation wrong. And I want them to know that they're actually doing it right because you're coming up against those thoughts that slip by your awareness unnoticed or unchecked by many people. Uh, you all of a sudden catch how you speak and people say, if I really want to be happy, let's think about this. I don't want to, I don't want to complain, I don't want to blame, I don't want to make excuses, I don't want to feel sorry for myself, I'm going to stop that. Now that's breaking a habit of being yourself, that's a, that takes a lot of energy and a lot of awareness and, and, and our environment then, the circumstances, our environment are always available for us to think and feel equal to everything in our life, you know. So the environment for many people, as we said earlier, controls the way they think and feel. So when they respond to their coworker, when they respond to the news, when they respond to the um, the, the traffic in their life, uh, that response causes them to return back to those unconscious programs. So, but sitting in a meditation and really sitting in a fire and believing that there's something on the other side of that thought. Uh, uh, believing that there's something on the other side of some behavior or some emotion 
uh, that feel, makes us feel a certain way. That's, that's stepping into the unknown. And, and it, takes, um, it takes us disconnecting from the environment. That's what meditation is about. Playing music or, or hearing nothing, or, uh, closing your eyes and not eating, not smelling, not tasting, not feeling with your body. You're putting your body away and you're not letting it be the mind or the program. You're making it sit still. You're training the animal, right? And, and a person starts feeling emotional and they catch themselves starting to feel those emotions instead of letting that emotion drive certain thoughts or, or actions that person settles the body down uh, in the meditation and brings it back into the present moment and, and that's a victory